Hi there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today's video is both. Um, if you're new to my channel, you might not know that in the last year I've really forayed into making my own ball jointed dolls. I just had a pre-order back in October for my first ball jointed doll, Hollow, and that's ongoing. Production is producing. Uh, but right now I've done everything I can for that until the dolls come in. So in the meantime, I have been working on new dolls. So I recently got a 3D printer so that I could print my own prototypes and easily identify any edits or changes I wanted to make um, just a lot quicker. I was having them printed out of house for quite a while, at least for the hollows by my friend Kasha at Cure 1992, I believe. Check her out here. Um, for all your resin printing needs. But I finally decided it was time to get my own printer and print my own prototypes. I had a lot of hesitations because um, uncured resin can be really dangerous. And I was really spooked by the thought of having uncured resin just hanging out in my house, which it's, it's not really hanging out, but you know what I mean. I also thought the idea of 3D printing um, and learning how to use a 3D printer was very intimidating and that's kind of what stopped me from just getting my own a long time ago. But it was time. So I went over to Amazon and purchased an Eligu Mars 2 Pro and an Anycubic Wash Cure Station. I also got a stable shelf, liquid resins, gloves, masks, all that kind of stuff funnels, everything you would need. While I was waiting on the printer, which took about a week to come in, I was working on finishing up Clover. When I say finishing up, I really mean her first draft because this is her first print and the point is to find and identify issues. She is my newest BJD. If you saw my polymer clay BJD concept video, this is Clover's 3D version. I think I really captured the willowy body and mischievous face of the clay one. Once they were done, at least for their first draft, I exported each piece as an STL file. Then I downloaded and opened a slicing software called Chidubox. This is where I put my pieces on the printer plate, add support so the print doesn't collapse, and slice the image. This is almost like taking an x-ray photo of each layer so that the printer can slowly build up the whole piece. There are thousands of layers in each of the tiny pieces I printed. You can see how thick or how thin your layers are. The thinner, the longer it takes, but the finer and more detailed your print is. I printed Clover at 0.01 millimeter thickness and I had almost no sanding to do at all. Future prints are gonna probably be done at 0.03, which will save a little bit of time. Once plated, I saved the plates as CTB files and put them on a USB drive. The drive goes in the printer where I can select from the menu and print. I wear super thick uh, dishwashing gloves, like the rubber ones that go to here and a big mask. And I had to fill the vats. I don't have video of me filling the vat, but um, you basically open the bottle and pour the resin into the vat. I poured it right to the max line so that um, I could print a few different dolls in the same color. I wasn't too worried about it. You can also uh, kind of funnel it back into the bottle after if you kind of sift it out. So no harm. Also made sure to have the window open even though it was chilly in the middle of November. Tiny Clover took two plates and a total of 16 hours of print time. After the print was done, I washed it in IPA alcohol, removed the supports and cured it in a jar of water. You can remove supports after curing too. It's just a lot harder. Then I strung and assembled her just like any other BJD. I hate to toot my own horn, but I am so, so, so pleased with Clover. There are some final tweaks to work out with the eye sockets and knees, but the little face seriously melts my heart. Overall, there was a lot to learn, but it was so much fun to get into. I've been very lucky and I've had zero misprints so far, and I just finished printing my third doll. I've only done tiny so far, so I'm sure printing MSDs is going to be a whole other ball game um, or maybe have more issues. I'm not sure though. I don't know if the size of the print or the size of the item you're printing um, and like how heavy it is affects 
how likely it is to collapse. I, I really don't know. So here's the lineup. We have Tiny Clover and Tiny Hollow with the modified head size. For comparison, here's her old head size in the Tiny I got from Kasha. Still cute, but I like the bigger heads in the scale. Uh, it would be really cool if you wanted to follow along with Clover's journey. I post her over on Instagram now and she's going to be updated here on YouTube as well. Um, as well, if you want to let me know what you think about Clover, I don't know. I just think Clover is such a cute little doll. I'm really happy with them. I think it's funny because uh, dolls this size usually who are adults are mature USDs, but Clover is going to be between 35 and 37 centimeters tall. Um, and I'm thinking of them as an immature MSD is... I don't know. I, I really think of them in the uh, like 10 to 15 age range. That's kind of where they were designed. They were like a, you know, a tween. Um, so I don't know. I just love them so much. But let me know what you think of the size, what you think of this type of doll, what you think of Clover. I know that Hollow was a lot more popular than I anticipated her being. Uh, we sold a lot of Hollows during the pre-order. Um, so, I mean, again, like Hollow, Clover is a doll I made for myself because I love making dolls and because <laughs> the face. It's, it's the same as with the Hollows. I don't know really how to gauge interest, uh, except for just asking. So, I don't know. What I'm going to do differently this time, though, is, uh, if I decide to produce Clover in cast form, I'm going to send them to my caster ahead of time and get samples made. That way I can show more accurately the colors and the posing and all of that. Uh, I couldn't afford it with Hollow up front, but Hollow was successful enough to enable me to fund the next doll, uh, meaning I can get samples and all of that before so that people, if they were interested, could see them up front. If people aren't interested, I very well might just get them cast anyways just so I can have a couple for myself. That's basically it. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!